Hi, Minister. Sorry, we're oh, late. Oh, hello. Can we start the interview? Sure, sure. Do you come to SUTD often? Uh, once in a while, I got six universities, five polys, three IT campuses. I try to visit them all at least once a year. SUTD plus the events that I come here for, typically three, four times a year. Perfect. Show us around, Minister. Well, come. This is the library, you know. Was the library your favourite place in school? Oh, absolutely not. I'm a more a football field person. In your opinion, which minister would be the sports captain in school? Uh, probably SM Taman. He told me he play hockey at a very high level. Minister, that's PM at the National Day Rally, right? Yes, yes. I heard he announced some education initiatives. What are they for? He did. Uh, we worked quite hard to come up with this package. For ITE, we fund 97% of the cost. Right? For polytechnics, we fund about roughly 85% of the cost. For university, we fund about 75% of the cost. So when you go to university and you look at the school fees, $8,200, for example, per year, that is the unfunded portion. That's the first layer applies to all Singaporean students. Then there's a second layer. We have a bursary system. So we give additional financial help depending on the family financial situation of the student. For the poly students, those from the lowest income, they pay a minimum of $600 of course fees. For university, that corresponding number is about $4,000. And what the Prime Minister announced is to enhance this help so that for poly, 600 become 150. For university, 4,000 becomes 2,000. And as a third layer of help, you can apply for a student loan. And that is interest-free during the course of your studies. And I think with that three layers of help, we hope that all students will be able to gain access to quality education without worrying about their financial affordability. Minister, why is the government doing all of this? Um, we are doing all of this because education is such an important policy. Important because the future of our next generation, the hopes of the generation, the aspirations, depends on education. Financial situation cannot be an obstacle for them to assess this quality education and achieve their aspiration and fulfil their potential. That is an important principle. So everyone's different, and how exactly do we cater to the different students? Well, suppose everyone is different. We all have our own makeup, our own strengths, our own passion, our own interests, our own talents. So the education system needs to cater to all that. In post-secondary education especially, we have to cater for all these multiple pathways. And even after you leave school, make sure there's still a lifelong learning journey through Skills Future so that you continue to hone your skills, continue to improve uh, the level of skill proficiency that you have and be really good at what you are doing. Tell us, did you have a favourite subject in school? Uh, probably math, because it doesn't have words. <laughs> so what was your worst subject? Uh, those that require words, in other words, English. School is to you, Louis Armstrong's Wonderful World or The Beatles' Hard Day's Night. Louis Armstrong, what a wonderful world. So it's the year 2039. What do you think is the biggest challenge for our future school kids? 2039? Uh, I would expect technology to be even more advanced by then. And I think there's going to be a lot of temptation to use technology, AI, computers to replace the teacher. And I think the challenge will be to resist those temptations. Because education, Fundamentally, it's also about value transmission, the care and concern and the nurturing of a child, which I don't think AI or technology can replace. The teacher will remain at the centre of the education system. We're talking a little bit about AI. Is this something all students will be able to afford, even those from lower income families? The, the system will get more sophisticated, um, at a higher level, more customised. Um, and it will get more holistic in terms of developing the child. Um, it may get more expensive, but it is our commitment as a government to make sure that we will use public funds to make sure that the education system is affordable to everyone. So that way, every child can look forward 
to hope, to, to hope for a better future and to achieve their aspiration and fulfil their potential. I'm at the door. Oh, Any other last, last question? question? Yes, please, last Minister. Question. Which of your teachers would you like to thank? Uh, probably all of them. Um, during my school days, there are teachers I prefer and there are teachers I may not like as much. But you know, at my age, looking back, um, I think all teachers are great and they shape me into what I am today and make my school life a Louis Armstrong song. Thank you. Thanks, Minister. See you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye.